Hello everyone, welcome to my brand new Let's Play series of Phoenix Point. I'm Colonel RPG, and I'm very happy to have you here with me as I do a blind playthrough of Phoenix Point, the second game uh, from Snapshot Games, a company founded, I think, uh, by Julian Gollop and David Kay, uh, and Julian Gollop is the creator of XCOM. You might have played XCOM, you might have heard of XCOM. I did play the, the, the original one, and the first new one, but I never finished any XCOM, I'm more of a Xenonauts kind of guy. Uh, also, I didn't finish Xenonauts, because Xenonauts is really difficult. And this game, Phoenix Point over here, is supposed to be the spiritual successor to, uh, to XCOM, and that is to the original one, done by the father of XCOM. I'm, I'm, I'm done for this. Let's uh, watch the intro. In what may be the hottest year in history, scientists have recorded radical changes to the permafrost in Antarctica. The Pandora virus, a so-called giant virus with the largest genome size ever recorded. The crabs also display increased aggression, even towards larger predators. A striking new weather anomaly has claimed many coastlines around the world. NASA is examining these clouds to figure out... We've detected large amounts of an organic composite. So far, the sample doesn't match any of the DNA records we've compared it with. We all saw it. Those creatures coming out of the sea on that oil rig. The president has declared a national emergency... It's obvious that what we're dealing with here is a biological weapon. As of today, we are at war. It's taking their minds. I saw them walk right into the sea. Thousands of people. Thousands. The mist is gone, but the city is dead. The roads are broken. You must join one of the havens. Do not attempt to survive on your own. Well, aren't we in for some fun times? The what are, are they coming from? The, well, yeah, there's aliens coming from outer space controlling our people. Let's do this thing. Uh. Okay, well, difficulty. Suitable for new players to the strategy genre? Uh, well, I'm, I'm bad. I'm not new, I'm just bad. I'm bad at strategy, which means that I should be able to complete the game in veteran, maybe even in hero on a second playthrough, but right now we're gonna go with veteran, and uh, I am gonna play the tutorial, that's right, and we have DLC coming up as well. This game has been in development from uh, for a while, for a long while, and I think f maybe four or five years, I don't know. Anyway, let's start the game. There's no hardcore mode, which I kind of was hoping to enable, um, but I'm not going to be reloading. I mean, I don't know if there's permadeath or not. I'll, We'll stick with it. We'll stick with it. You will need to complete a faction special mission, see Diplomacy tab, in order to progress your relations with them to the next level. That sounds good. I like the art style so far. My name is Randolph Symes. I am the last leader of the Phoenix Project. If you are hearing this, I am most likely dead. But in happier news, a scarab has been sent to pick you up, and its artificial intelligence will take you to Phoenix Point. Get to it quickly and safely. So the leader of the F of Phoenix Point is dead. Lovely. Okay, so I know the controls, I think. Uh, camera zoom, that is not the scrolls, TNG, TNG. Okay, and then this goes up to the levels. So, similar control scheme to Phantom Doctrine that I've played recently. And uh, a similar graphic style as well, but that's, you know, everything does this. However, I'm afraid that might mean we only have four action points. No, 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 we have more. Ah, oh, this is proper, like, big numbers action points, I love it. I think. Yeah, let's see. So, we're going to move over here. And uh, it also is playable with a gamepad, which is pretty good. Uh, okay, enemy icons above your action bar show all spotted enemies. That's good. That's good. Can I click on them? I can, but it doesn't do anything with them. A red icon shows an enemy in direct line of sight for the selected soldier. Selects your oh, soldier, not shoulder. Soldiers have four action points. Aww. I thought we were going to have 40 action points. I like those systems better. Um, to use for shooting and movement each turn. A soldier can move a number of tiles for each action point. Oh, it's a mixture. I like it. Uh, depending on his speed. Area, areas marked with a blue outline show tiles which the soldier can shoot from. Because they haven't used all their action points yet, I would assume. 
Yes. So I will be able to shoot from there and we will get line of sight. A blue shooting line will be shown at the selection marker position if an enemy can be shot from there. Okay, let's do that. Now. And we have enemy spotted. The health bar indicates the current hit points. The armor pips to the right show the amount of damage prevented for each shot. When targeting an enemy, the amount of damage from an attack is shown on the health bar. The whiter the damage prediction, the more likely it is. That it will do... What? When targeting an enemy, the amount of damage from an attack is shown on the bar. Is it the... Uh, what is... It is what? I'm not sure. I guess we'll figure it out. So can I click on him? No, I need to click there. Okay, that's good enough. I can also press F. And those things look... Let's zoom in. Let's let's see what we have over... Oh, no. That's not how you zoom in. That's... I can't... I'm, be, I'm forbidden. I'm forbidden from zooming in. Zooming in. Can't Ready do that. Fire. Okay, yeah, we are. Um, so, damage is 25 to 35 for one shot. It's got one pip over there. Uh, what is the... Health bar indicates... So, this is the health bar. That 10, I don't know, though. Uh, I'm gonna fire for two action points. That was a kill. It was. Once a soldier is out of action points, he enters standby mode and the next soldier is selected. If there are no soldiers with action points remaining, your turn ends. You can order a soldier to enter standby mode by using the space bar, selecting the icon from the action bar, or using gamepad, but I'm not doing that. So I could move you. Why would I want to do that? I would, because I... I would maybe... Hmm... For tactical reasons, this is why. You can enter your turn at any time by pressing the end turn. Yeah, but I th that's a bad idea, so let's move over here. Can I not do that? I cannot do Okay. <laughs> Tutorial time. Pandora and activity. <laughs> Armor breakage. When a character is attacked, damage is done to the body part that was hit, as well as reducing general hit points. Which is the, that thing. Okay. Wounded body parts are marked in yellow on the d damage display left to the health bar. Uh... Left of the health bar. Where? Where is that? Oh, that one over there. Oh, got shot in the head. Disabled body parts are marked in red. Disabled body parts will usually cause bleeding and the loss of strength and possibly willpower. Any special ability given by the body part will be lost. I imagine if my head gets disabled, that's bad. Any object in the environment can provide cover by blocking the path of a projectile. However, soldiers will make use of cover in two different ways. When next to low obstacle or low wall, soldiers will crouch to reduce exposure. When next to a high obstacle or high wall, soldiers will remain standing but can step to the side to shoot. Now move. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Be yep. right there. That's where I wanted to go. And free. Oh, we're going to do free aim. That's right. So this game, I was told this, but I didn't see it yet, so this is all new to me. It's all blind. Uh, there's no valid tactic, though. Hmm. Um, yeah, free aim allows you to target a body part and see the effects of disabling the body part. Each body part has its own hit points and armor value. Damage prediction is also shown for the targeted body part. The outer blue circle shows you where all your shots will land. The more accurate the weapon, the smaller the circle. Free aim. So, for free aim... I do that. Oh! Oh, oh that's kind of cool. So we got a machine. We can also learn about... No, not really. Launcher arm. What the heck is that? And we got an arm. So the outer circle is where all my shots will land. That's the torso. Do we not have a head here? There's two legs. There's got to be a head in there somewhere. Unless that's something. So the launcher arm doesn't have armor. Or does it? It's got a lot of health. So, the effects of it is just bleeding, right? If disabled, bleeding. Yeah, yeah. And minus maximum hit points. Minus willpower if torso is disabled. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a head. I thought it would be that, because it looks like that's a head, but it isn't. No, th look at that. There's a head over there. You see that? Oh, it's back here! I can lo I know things. Let's go for that. If disabled, bleeding, willpower minus eight, and a bunch of bad things. You want me to go there? Oh, because we killed it. Okay, that was that was great. And then I'm moving you. Yeah, that's not how I usually play. I usually scout ahead before moving my characters. 
So your uh, active soldiers are out of action points. Yes, please. Oh, lovely. There is a... The heck is that? Oh, there's two. Leaf monsters. There's three. They seem to be melee. Okay, so let me zoom in and see what we have. They have turned their backs to me. Yeah. Kill all enemies, our objective. You don't say. Okay, so... Zoom out. I'm gonna need to figure out a better way to zoom in and out. I'll figure that out in, in future episodes. So, I want... They're all behind cover, which is smart of them. How do I <clears throat> do that? I'm gonna fall back. Unless I can do Overwatch. Reload, bash. No, first off, let's see what you can do. So, I would like to move over to the other side. Hmm. Let's move to half cover. It's not ideal, but... Uh, so, let's see. Fire weapon. And if I do that... Yeah, we can see the head. Okay, let's go. And I can't move you anymore. Which is bad news. So you stand by. But if I could try to kill you... Well, I can definitely try to kill you. But that's not the problem. If I could kill you, that'd be fantastic. Okay. So if I press tab, that switches. How do I tell the to hit chance? It looks like... Hmm. Oh, sorry. There we go. Let's see what happens when they attack us. Minus one armor, torso damaged. Oof. Wow. Are you scripted not to be killable? <laughs> did I just lose somebody in the tutorial? Yes, I did. This is good. This is on brand for me. I am a fan. Um, okay, so... They're going to be tricky, actually. So I'm going to try and move you over here. And uh, let's fire on you. But I can't, like targeting doesn't really matter too much. Oh, there's a predicted damage. Oh, the accuracy here is good. That's the head. Enemy down. Yeah, I think the headshots do kill the enemy. I'm pretty sure that's that's what's happening. What are you talking? You're not. There's no one piece here. You're dead a lot. There we go. I like your sh your uh, not shoulder pads. Uh, what what what? Vehicles are armored personnel carriers with a mounted weapon. Soldiers can enter the vehicle by moving on the entry marker next to the vehicle and then pressing the enter vehicle on the action bar. Yes. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say. Oh well, yeah. The 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 the, the elbow elbow pads. Those those are cool. Okay, so I can't go there. I could keep moving, though. And then you can go there. You do. It's a good thing you're scripted not to die, but this game is... Games like these are brutal anyway, so... I don't know if this one is brutal. I imagine it is. So we can... Evacuate and turn. Yes. And then we evacuate. What's the other ones? Reload and bash. Off we go. That's the little vehicle that we saw in the intro cinematic? It looked so small. <laughs> Look at us not being awful, even though I was. Uh, PX Scarab. Unmodified. That's the, uh, that's the vehicle that we got. Okay. Explore areas covered by the mist to make contact with any havens there and protect them if you can. Oh, this is going to be world map, isn't it? If you are hearing this message, an alert has been triggered and you will need to clear out the enemy forces. There may be others who receive this signal. Help them if you can. It's all up to you now. Good luck, operatives. Symes out. You're dead. You're dead. You're out. Oh, we're in a mission again. Okay. The inventory shows everything carried by a soldier and... Items on the ground or in adjacent crates. Encumbrance if the weight. Okay, access the inventory. Thank you. What do I have? The tactical inventory displays divided into three sections. Ready, backpack, and ground. Conta the ready contains items that are currently equipped. Gotcha. 
Entering the inventory will, will this, uh, inventory display has no action points cost. Moving any number of t items from one section to another has a fixed cost of one action point, except for moving items to ground, which does not cost any action points. Uh, so we can look over here and see. Well, I can't because it's we're doing the things. Equipment crates contain weapons, ammo, and other equipment. The first time a unit moves next to an equipment crate, the inventory is automatically opened, and the soldier will get a will point bonus. Moving any number of items from the crate to the soldier's backpack or ready section costs one action point. Any number, so you can do that like forever. Take a med kit from the equipment crate and place it in the ready item slot. Okay, so we have ready and item and ground. That sounds easy enough. Uh, and a grenade as well. Odin grenade. What what else do we have? You, you don't, you're not going to let me. You're a terrible person. Uh, and then I need to select you. Really? We're just moving forward. Okay. Actually, it's over there. Uh, see? It's a ter terrible idea. It's also possible to come across allied characters in battle. Allies surrounded by a blue circle can be rescued and come under your control. And your turn for now. Are you sure? I mean, sh 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 that, that's a cool plane over there as well. Did you just... Tank? Oh yeah, we did. Ooh, status effects are bonuses or penalties that affect a unit for a certain amount of time. Positive effects are usually acquired through abilities, while negative effects come from enemy weapons and abilities. Bleeding is one of the most common status effects, hopefully not very common. Soldiers suffering from bleeding are dealt a set amount of damage at the start of their turn equal to their bleed level. Bleeding can be cured by using a medkit. After a mission ends, bleeding and disabled, and disabled limbs are cured, but hit points need to be restored at a base with a medical facility. Hmm, okay. Items in the ready section of the inventory are shown in the ready items bar. Yeah, I think I know what you want me to do. You want me to go there. That's one way of doing it. I was sort of gonna hide over there, but uh, we're being bold, I guess. Uh, yes, we're throwing a grenade in there and it seems like we have full control and we're not just throwing it on, uh, we're not throwing it on a grid, which uh, is worrying. I think we're gonna kill them all. That is indeed what we did. Uh, now for you. You. How do I make you not die? Oh, we need to end your turn. Ah! Yep, med kits restore hit points and remove bleeding and poison status effects. A soldier must be next to the injured soldier in order to heal him. Uh, and then use the med kit. That sounds like a good thing. And I, I got... Yes, I had this selected. Right, and I'm healing them over there. Allied characters are rescued by moving a soldier next to them. After they are rescued, the character can be given orders along with the rest of your squad. Uh, well, I'm going to select you then. And uh, that is the allied character in there. Let me zoom in so we can look. Oh, that's a Space Troopers style thing. There are various soldier classes, each with their own set of abilities and equipment proficiency. While any soldier can use any armor or weapon, doing so comes at a risk of lower accuracy or fumbling. The weapon class soldiers are proficient with heavy weapons, and usually equipped with armor capable of enduring large amounts of damage. Their emblematic jet suit or jetpack suit allows them to fly over obstacles or reach high points e with ease. Uh, that sounds like a promising thing. Let me zoom out. So, can I just hold the zoom? Not really. That's weird, actually. So we go there for how many action points? Minus two will points. Willpower determines a soldier's will to fight and ability to perform advanced class abilities. A soldier begins with uh, will... Oh, begins the battle with will points. But now we don't. Is that because of our special abilities? That's what we did, isn't it? It says over there, will. Right. Also, we can't shoot, evidently. And we're surrounded. Let's just see how much we're going to tank. <laughs> Hmm. I really like this. It's the orange. I like uh, it's yeah. Okay. Oh. oh. They tank a lot. I like the destructible environments. Some abilities such as return fire allow characters to react during the enemy turn. Return fire allows a character to shoot back when enemies shoot at it or any of its allies as long as the attacker is within 18 tiles of the target. Only certain weapons are able to return fire regardless of what skills a unit might have. Move your assault unit uh, or your assault, yes, under the wing and then shoot at the enemy and observe the return fire. So I will be able to tell 
that they have return fire. Who am I moving? Am I moving you? No, I'm moving him. Okay. That's my assault over there. I can't tell that they have return fire. I assume that's you that I need to shoot at. Scripted not to die there. Hmm. The Overwatch ability allows soldiers to guard an area during the enemy's turn. If an enemy enters the Overwatch cone, it is attacked automatically. Overwatch controls are... I'll figure it out. I mean, I hope I'll figure it out. Because this is not going away. So I'll just be able to, to do my thing. Oh, that's really cool. Let's see. There's a... Control... Scroll? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Change the width. Why would you want to change the width, though? It doesn't increase the range. Or does it? Hmm. That's weird. Why would you want to do that? Right? Does it change the accuracy? I can't tell. Oh, I need to... I literally need to click there. Covering. Mm-hmm. A character's stats, equipment, body parts, abilities, and status effects can be viewed at any time in combat from the character info panel. You can view info from uh, for enemies as well as your own soldiers. Select your soldier, and then click on info. And then we have our torso is disabled right now, which sounds worse than it actually is. Don't worry about it. We also have Overwatch. No, that's the current status. And that's an assault right there. That's the class. Not the felony. Uh, so we're just ending the turn. Oh yeah, because we're learning things. I, I think we're learning good things. No, we're not! We're learning that Overwatch... Overwatch only works once. You didn't die yet. That's surprising. Okay, defeat all enemies. Did you just hashtag me? You just hashtag me. How dare you? Uh, okay. So, I need to figure out. That's a good weapon. Wait, what? What? Why are you shooting again? Can we do that if we don't move? Pincer, leg, arm, carapace. Yeah, I'll shoot the carapace. Hmm. Okay. Comes online. Wait. You can shoot, right? Yeah. Hmm. I knew you had it in you. It's fine. It's all good. So, aim shots are really, really important. Basically, you're, we're going to want to do that every time. We also found Tiny, Adrian, Alviso, Bave, and Lise. Lise? Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have fun with all the accents and <laughs> languages. When faction relations reach 50, you are aligned, and the faction will share its research with you. I want to be aligned. It's, it's, mm. The Phoenix Project was founded on October 24th, 1945. The second war to end all wars was over, but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries. Even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN. Stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. 
three factions arose. New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the Disciples of Anu, a new syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. Interesting. So the last leader that apparently died before the game even started, the one that is actually talking to us. That's that's the that's the whole subject of rising from the ashes. We're rebuilding Phoenix Phoenix Project or Phoenix Point. Uh, the geoscape shows the world and all locations and sites of interest. In the beginning, all you know about is your base, Phoenix Point. Oh, okay. So, right. Um, so the controls are very similar as well. Actually, they're a little bit better because you can zoom in with a scroll wheel. I can change that, I suppose, for the hmm, TNG for... Yeah, I'll figure it out. Uh, page up and page down might be better for, for levels for me. So that's our base right now. I can have base info. Your base is your stronghold containing all facilities as well as vital resources such as food, materials, and tech. Phoenix Point is in bad shape. You need to repair your vehicle bay before you can launch your Manticore aircraft. Oh, that's what that beautiful, gorgeous machine was. And it will take some time. Start repair of your vehicle bay. Um, click on the repair facility button. Or, that's, that's true. Wait, move the mouse pa pad cursor. Ooh, that's going to be a fun time with a controller. I'm, it's not going to be because I'm not going to do it. Uh, so we are using uh, 40 hexagons and five gears. How dare they? How dare they? Materials. It's just material. Hexagons are just materials. I like it. Gears, I suppose, is like engineering. No, no, it's over there. What is it? Tech. Resource for building high-tech items. I. That's very simplistic. I like it. I, I, I would like... Something a little bit more Vespin gas. Because I was going to say, the the world seems pretty rich and... Uh, eight, Ten hours to repair that. Okay. The world seems pretty rich and, and, and like, deep, maybe? I, I mean, we have... It's only a, an introduction, but there's immediately three big factions at war with each other. They all have lofty goals and just sort of big, overarching goals, I suppose. And it's just that there's so many stories that you can tell with that. But this is not that sort of game. It's just... I don't know where this is going in terms of world building and all this sort of stuff. So the game is paused right now, and we have the Geoscape over here, and if we click on bases, it goes back to Geoscape, because we are at the base already. So the fabrication plant. A factory, a factory facility that produces weapons, armor, and equipment in vehicles. I can power it off. Why would I do that? To hear the sound. That's fair enough. Why? What is this? Deployment... Oh, the access lift. Deployment point for defense missions and an escape route if things go badly. Can I move these around? I cannot. We also have the store. A storage facility... That's not... What, what, is that what a store is? I suppose. The depot. A storage facility for all weapons, ammo, equipment, and armor. Storage capacity is shared across all bases. I like that. Simple and straightforward. And then we don't have anything else. So we're basically skipping time. I think that's what we're doing. Let me just make sure we can't move around. No, our objective is also just to repair. Ooh, what's that thing moving? What is... Oh, I can... Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Oh, that's really good. I, I really like this. Oh. It behaves differently in the polls. Like, I'm clicking left and it does this. Because it's a lot... It's not... It's not like in, in Google Earth. It's more of a... It, it's more of a... It's a lot, it's, yeah. In Google Earth over here, it would rotate the Earth uh, normally. But no, n now it just does it, it rotates along a, a specific axis. So I got mostly everything. It's everything. It's, it's the same. It's the same planet that we have, I think. Inclu hmm. That's not supposed to be there. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That's not supposed to be there either. Right. Look, the Great Lakes the Great Lakes are still there. That's good. That's not though. Also not. Mm, this seems familiar to me. What do we have over here? 
Hmm. That's... That's correct, I think. Australia, you're still a dog and a cat? Yes, you are. Good. Do you see the dog and the cat? This is the dog and this is the cat. Anyway, <laughs> don't mind my, my insanity. That's not supposed to be there either. Is this... Uh, th mm, I think it might be a world ravaged by by war. Also, I was thinking that this doesn't look like a the correct coast, but I... That doesn't look like the correct coast over there for sure. Um, this is good enough. That one is not, though. That one is a little bit of a, a dent, but I think it might be just... Um, uh, what's the word? Stylization, maybe? Could be. So how does that work? Slow down time. I can slow down. Oh, there's multiple. I see. And then I can accelerate. Oh! Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. The Manticore, we wasted a minute. The Manticore is your aircraft for transporting soldiers and exploring the world. The aircraft's crew is shown in the aircraft bar in the bottom of the screen using their soldier class icons. Send your Manticore to the unexplored site. Oh, we have an unexplored site already. And you pause automatically. What is that? Oh, it's just a log. I thought it was a paste button. Hiccup. So we have our team. That's good enough. Where's our base? Over yonder. In uh, Eastern Russia, I don't know any CD right there. I uh, mm, So I wouldn't be able to tell any names. Then I mean, I, I've i heard of names in there, but I can't pronounce them because I don't remember them. Uh, there's no valid target? What do you mean there's no valid tar target? Right click. I wonder what left click does. Maybe attacks people? Initially, all sites on the geoscape are unexplored, marked with question mark. Uh, you need at least one soldier on board an aircraft in order to explore. Exploration takes time and you may get ambushed, so be on your guard. Yes. I... We can deploy. Oh, that's the... Okay. That's a way of doing it. Eliminate all enemies to claim the resource crates. I'm down for this. Poison will inflict damage at the start of your next turn, and then the poison value will reduce and inflict less damage the next turn until no poison is left. So it's like bleeding, except better. Yeah, that's fair enough, I suppose. This looks cool. Is this the... I think it is It is the car that we... that we uh, left in. Maybe modified a little bit. It's got some wicked camber right there. Oh, uh, it's not orange anymore. Maybe it's the lighting. That looks so cool. And we are here. The game likes to start over there. I'm currently playing a pre-release build, by the way. So uh, I'm sure that it's, it's going to be the same as the actual release build. I got links for you in the description, by the way. Um, because uh, the, the developers sent a key my way. I backed it uh, when it was on Fig, I think it was. I got links for you in the description if you want to check the game out for yourself. But I, even though I am playing the uh, pre-release version of the game, so that bug might be fixed when you get the game for yourself... The game is out already, because there's an embargo, and that's that's how it works. So uh, we'll continue in the next episode. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Phoenix Point. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I play a lot of RPGs and other games that are not necessarily RPGs as well. But above all, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.